Okay, brief description of the film, A Lot of Nothing. Essentially, this story is about a married couple that essentially has everything together, perfect life on the outside, really a lot of intricate problems going on at home. No one is aware of. They discover while watching the evening news that their next door neighbor committed a crime. They then decide to confront this neighbor. Things spiral out of control and then get worse when they forget that their brother-in-law and his pregnant fiance come over and then a comedy of error ensues. It started with Mo McRae for me. Uh, he's one of my favorite people on the planet. We've been friends since we did The Butler together. Um, when I first met him, I knew I was in the presence of a great artist. Um, but, you know, it wasn't until I saw his short film of A Lot of Nothing, a 17-minute, one-take short film that crammed so many themes, such wonderful writing and direction into it. And that was the beginning of our conversation about A Lot of Nothing. And then it was followed by this great um, feature-length script. So, um, you know, I've been a beneficiary of support. And, uh, you know, I, I, I felt very keen to do that for my friend and brother. Well, um, so much drew me to the film. I saw the short film as well. And, um, well, we're, we're married, so I, I was very close to the, the process with the short film and was so inspired by the themes and the dialogue that the couple was having, especially um, being that it was a black couple and, and the elevated conversation they were able to have around this subject matter. Um, I watched Mo create the feature from that and was inspired, still am inspired on a day-to-day -day basis, just his mind, this, this, this story that literally was birthed from his mind, his beautiful soul. Um, and I, I had no intentions on acting in it at all. I don't know if he had intentions on me acting in it either. It just, you know, fell into place and, and I was... I, I knew the character so well um, by by the time we started casting and it just, it, it all fell into place and, and to find these people to play the characters as well is really inspiring. I just wanted to be of service to them and to, uh, I'm just here, I'm just, I'm just here cheering them on at this point. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm happy to be a part of it. I think I managed to find levity in this subject matter because Oftentimes, just something I stumbled on, a bit of an observation about life in general, which is that funny things can be really serious sometimes, and sometimes really serious things can be funny. And I think often when you get a little bit removed from a situation, whether it's like road rage or anything that you were really angered by, when you look back at it, you can laugh, and then you share that story. So for me, this film was an opportunity to touch on a lot of really sensitive topics in a way that could allow us to laugh and make it more palatable and entertaining in a story that should be shared and um, enjoyed. And also, Mo, we had a conversation at the very beginning. I remember asking you about the tone and I said, how, where do we find the funny? And he said, we laugh at you. The movie laughs at you. You take it seriously, yeah. right? And that was yeah. a huge yeah. key. The biggest thing for me, because kind of what you spoke to in terms of you almost felt bad about laughing, I hope to create something that we have been able to create something that allows people to feel whatever they feel truthfully without societal pressures or influences on how we're supposed to react to things and want to create an opportunity that subverts all of those and lets people experience it how they experience it. And then hopefully I could kind of carry that into other areas of their lives. Yeah.